Well, that's right, and this is going to be one of the best matches you'll find anywhere in college soccer. Both of these teams, tremendous possession-oriented squads. They'll play a fantastic brand of soccer. It should be a treat here at Clockner Stadium tonight. 65 degree night, perfect type weather at this juncture in the season, and a 61st meeting all time between these two ACC opponents. Of course, they had a lot of possession in that game and some chances, but that was a Hofstra team that sat in deep in that low block and really frustrated Virginia. Here's Virginia, again, 1v1 look, turned away by Alfin. First real potential consequential set piece in this contest to be taken by Fessler. Plays that straight on, hits the post. Virginia turns it away initially, and a cleanup look sails high. Let's take a look back at that free kick opportunity. But Fessler just does so well from 22 yards out there, getting up and over the wall, dipping down, swerving, just a tremendous free kick. I mean, you, you can't really hit a ball better than that unless it's two inches to the right and in the back of the net. A tremendous effort there from Ryan Fessler early in this game. Followed setbacks to both Syracuse and then on the road at William & Mary. So this is a weak team turning the page from that tough stretch right at the start of October with back-to-back -back victories coming into Klockner. Wake trying to test for a post, but that's going to work its way well wide. And well, how quickly that turned around, but it's right off of one of those backline defenders for Wake Forest. Well, vacating was south and didn't get a hand on it, but it'll eventually trickle all the way out where Alfonso has to gather it up. Well, Deacons, though this ends up O'Connor's. This way. Niang taking his time with it, gets by Visa. And he'll play this right on at Holden Brown. Looking for a signature win. That could come tonight, though, on the road at Clockner Stadium. It's been tough on the road at times. Down to Visa. Crosses that to the middle. Flying in there to look for the header. Afonso, it was not to be. The first third of it here, seeing Virginia with a foot on the throttle. Shots now for UVA. How about this takeaway for Eulen? Tried to feed that off and Wake Forest with the perfect response. So here is Holden Brown's goal kick. Takes it to the middle where Horton trying to see if Virginia can do something quickly. Through to Afonso and he will deposit it left side to put Virginia out front 1-0. This is the ensuing goal kick. Goal kick from Holden Brown that he doesn't like. He mishits. It's a good flick in the middle there from Gashi. And then Phil Horton does really well taking on Garrison Tubbs. A great slip. And this is a fantastic one-time finish from Leo Alfonso to put the Who's up 1-0 in a huge contest. Yeah, do not miss the work of Philip Horton to create that chance as he notched his third assist of the season. Lights and sounds, a lot of life inside Clockner Stadium right now as well. Uh, the ante is just gonna be, just gonna be risen again. A good ball in here for Will Mitchell. Shot taken, that's gonna sell high and wide from Colin Thomas off the feet from Mitchell. As a true freshman, that uh, it was going to be a special run. And he certainly Capped it at least to this point tonight with another key moment. Good footwork, chance for Wake, and that will carry him away. Four minutes even remaining. You wonder if you're Wake Forest, how many chances remain like this? Header from distance, it was on target, but Holden Brown was right there. Final seconds. 
They roll off and Virginia secures a 1-0 victory over Wake Forest as they win this key ranked ACC showdown.